Hello and welcome back everyone. Oh, sorry. Wasn't prepared. <laughs> As always. Welcome back everyone. Uh, hope you've had a, a nice little intermission. I've had one. <clears throat> I got myself a protein bar, so I'm sitting here eating and making noises while also streaming. Like a pro. Always like a pro. Uh, <laughs> I hope everyone has managed to get their votes in. We're gonna have the little um, the little voting session, basically. It's not gonna be too long, but apparently 70 people have voted. That's more than the amount of people who definitely voted back in 1980, um, because obviously only 19 countries voted. Or, well, like the overall amount of voters. I don't know how many juries sat in each jury, but whatever. Uh, from what I can see, I'll actually um, go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, for some reason, we're not getting up the chat box at the moment. I hope that I hope that happens soon enough. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I can't see the chat. Oh, there we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, basically, let's see. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, yeah, that looks good. There we go. Uh, I got 70 voters so far. If you still... Okay, 72. Never mind. Uh, here are all 72. If you can't see your name, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can maybe see it a bit clearer. Uh, Genghis Khan is back, of course. Um, but yeah, if you can't see your name, then you should probably try again to get your votes in. Um, just for the sake of it, I will once again share the voting link in the chat. If you want to get it, get your last minute votes in, basically. Um, Groot, can you check if my name is there? No, George, I can't because I don't know what you named yourself. But uh, yeah, look, if you're if you're on the list, you're on the list. Um, otherwise, get your votes in quickly. Um, because I think we're going to start the voting in like five minutes or something like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, obviously, I hadn't voted before, and uh, all of you are pretty quick. I'm all the way down here, <laughs> so I'm I'm a pretty late voter this time around. But um, don't be sorry. I gotta eat. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, basically, <clears throat> uh, I'm kind of excited to see what's going to win, uh, because obviously, I don't know either. I haven't checked this, and uh, maybe we yeah, we got one more voter now. So, uh, yeah, we're still getting votes in. Um, kind of interesting to see if we're going to have the same same winner as, um, as the real one, or um, if it's going to be something else. And then, of course, we gotta keep like track f going forward of, of what songs win in our uh, watch-alongs for, for um, the older Eurovisions, basically. I, I think it's been a success so far. I, I really enjoyed doing this watch-along. I hope you've enjoyed doing it as well, or like watching with me. Uh, let me know, um, everyone in the chat who, um, who didn't... What's it called? Who hadn't seen this year before, or hadn't like heard the songs from this year before, let me know if this was your first time listening to them. And if it was, tell me, did you enjoy it or not? Uh, I'm really thrilled that so many people actually stuck around and watched a year that is so old. Like, a lot of people uh, obviously haven't seen Eurovision from, from these years, of course. Because uh, when you maybe get into Eurovision, you stick around for the, for the more modern years. And maybe when you want to catch up, you kind of feel like, okay, I'm going to check some years. But maybe you don't go all the way back to 1980. So, um, yeah. Uh, Yere says, next time 1997, please. No way, we're doing them in order. 1981 is the next time. Sorry, Yere. Um, uh, Andy asked, if, do you know A Forest by The Cure? <clears throat> that also came out in 1980. I do. I do. Do we think I should play that at the end of the stream? I can I can add that. Uh, I basically, like, if, if you're wondering, I basically played um, only 1980... Uh, years songs um what's it called like uh like during this stream today i've only played songs that was released in 1980 just to get us all in the mood kind of um uh both cosmic summers and leofar never had the chance to see fully older contests so this is so cool that's awesome that's awesome um 
uh, Steve had heard about two thirds of them before, so now you've heard all three thirds. Uh, first time, it was okay, only new 1986 onwards. Then you have a bunch of new ones for, for you to listen to, Piri. Uh, Lucy really enjoyed it, <clears throat> awesome to hear. Huao never seen it and it was made more fun than you thought, awesome to hear. Uh, sorry, I thought it was random because 1980 felt random. I understand that. Uh, I started in 1980 because I think there's like maybe like that decade and forwards is a bit more modern, I guess. But I gotta admit, like a lot of the songs from this, from what we saw today, sounds very 70s as well. But yeah, this is where we're starting. Uh, Bluebell, first time hearing most of them, aside from like three, but it was super duper fun. I've only seen about one to two ESCs per decade pre <clears throat> 2000. And I really enjoy this one. Happy to hear that, Bluebell. Hope that you will stick around for, for a bunch of other ones. Uh, saw 1980 last year and really liked it. Yeah, it was really good. Like, I don't remember it being this good. I remember really liking 1980, but not this much. I like pretty much all of the songs in it, if I'm, if I'm honest. Uh, Liz, first time, really enjoyed a lot of the songs and the whole production. Yeah, it's a really high quality kind of show as well. Um, I think for, for being that old, I think it's, uh, I think it's very, what do you call it? Like, um, kind of effort, like a lot of effort being put into it. I think it looks great. I think it sounds great. And yeah, it's a good show. Um, 1980 is a great year to start. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, let's see. Uh, let me just double check how many voters we got in now. We got a few more coming in here at the very end. Uh, we got, um, Kane78. Maybe that my thought votes are twice. Sorry about that. If your name is Kane78 both times, I will delete one of them. Uh, I'll delete the first one, if that's okay, Kane, and then your second votes are gonna stay in. So, yeah. Um, I wasn't born in 1980. Well, me neither. <laughs> uh, 1980 is actually one of my favorite years ever, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's it was really good. It was better because you've got a nice community watching with you, fella. True, good point, good point. Uh, first ESC I remember is 76. Kisses for all of you who love the stream. Thank you, Isabel. Um, 76, wow. That's 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 a long time ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, perfect. Uh, we're going to do the voting now, I think. It's 9-10 at me. We got 78 voters who actually uh, got into this one. And uh, yeah, excited to see what's going to what's gonna win. Ruru Rose, fun watching this. Thank you for this opportunity. My pleasure. It's going to be fun doing, doing the other ones as well. 81 coming up next. Not sure when, but uh, I'll announce that. Uh, scoreboard is currently visible at, well, right here. We're going to open it up. Here we have all of the songs. Let's just make sure it looks good. Um, I'll probably actually move myself a little bit down here. Make myself a little bit smaller. Um, and we can zoom in, right? Uh, that almost works. Now it works. Okay, looks great. Um, all right, so we got 19 songs. We're gonna see uh, 78 voters basically, and uh, we're gonna see who wins basically. It's it's gonna be interesting. So drop your top three predictions in right before I'm starting the voting here. What do we predict top three? Uh, and let's see who. I, I can't keep track of what everyone predicts, but if you're gonna get if you get all three that are gonna finish in the top three, then you did you did well. Then you deserve like a pat on the back or something like that. But get your predictions in. What is the top three going to be at the end of this? Uh, I'll be interested to see what you predict to be up there and how that compares to what's actually going to be up there. Uh, we're going to start the voting. Get your predictions in while we're getting into it. Niklas is the first one to vote, and his votes come in from Finland. And, uh, well, that's a very interesting just section of points coming in. Um... No. I'm sorry, Niklas, but this I'm going to delete these votes because it's quite obvious that you didn't actually arrange your votes. You voted for the entire top 10. I'm going to delete that. That it's There are 0% chance that that's your actual votes. I'm sorry, but no. I'm, I'm, deleting, <laughs> I'm deleting your votes. What was that? I'm sorry, Niklas, but no. We're not having that. I'm not having any of that. You did not vote correctly. There's no way. There's no way those were your actual votes. 
So yeah, I deleted those. We're gonna we're gonna do it again. James is now the first one to vote. These look more accurate. Um, yeah, this looks more uh, among like how the voting should look. <laughs> I'd say uh, we got a ten for Finland. And we got a 12 for... First 12 to Morocco. Um, Kevin. Next one up. <clears throat> so these are the first few points. A lot of people predicting Germany, Netherlands and Ireland up there. Some Switzerland, some Belgium. Always interesting. Norway's up there in a few. Uh, Greece getting 10 there, and the 12 from Kevin to Germany. Theater up in the lead. Uh, Glos Mars, can I still vote? You just missed it by like two minutes. I'm so sorry, but no, we just closed the voting and started it. I'm sorry. Sorry, dude. Uh, Crimson next up. Belgium getting their first point. Uh, we still got five countries on zero. Well, make that four, because uh, <laughs> Spain got big ones there. Turkey up into the lead at the moment and Morocco with a big 12 holy look at that Morocco up at the top Morocco Turkey and Germany current top three Puri from Finland is the next one to vote and here are the first few points coming in there uh, Kane 78 Finland has already more points than in the actual contest I'm sure Morocco does too if I'm honest but yeah that's a it's a fun point 10 points to Portugal there and the 12 goes to Italy. First few points going in for Italy there, and it's a big, big 12. Putting it towards the top half on the right side. Austria, Sweden, and France yet to receive any points. Uh, Kevin from the Netherlands, next one to vote. The first few points going in there. We have 8 for Morocco. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. 10 for the Netherlands. And a 12 to Teata. Up into second it goes. <clears throat> uh, Brad asks, do you listen to Kraftwerk? Not really. I mean, I know they were a big thing back in back in the day, but I haven't really gone into them too much, because obviously electronic music has evolved so much. Obviously they're pioneers, but uh, can't say that I've listened to them that much. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should listen to them a bit more. Addy Star is the next one to vote here, and the 12 goes to Netherlands, which goes up in the lead. There's absolutely a battle going on for the absolute top. I mean, everything from Denmark up to the Netherlands is very close to each other uh, at the moment, at least. We're only on voter 7, though, who is Christian. Denmark getting big points up there. Up into 4th it goes. Norway up into 2nd there. Uh, 10 points for Switzerland, and the 12 to... Ireland. Ireland up into the lead. So we got a top three of Ireland, Morocco, and Norway at the moment. I can't say I expected that. Genghis Khan, next to vote. Um, first few points going in there. Sweden got some points now. Austria apparently got some not too long ago as well, I guess. France still on zero, though. Finland with big ten points there. Finland's doing well. And the 12 to <laughs> Belgium. Belgium getting big 12 there, moves up to the top of the right scoreboard. Of course, we had someone who predicted Belgium to be uh, to be winning, right? If I remember correctly. Uh, Noah, next one to vote, from Sweden. Uh, we got 8 points for Morocco, going up in the lead. Morocco is doing very, very well. Big 10 points for Sweden there. Puts itself closer to the competition. And a big 12 for United Kingdom. United Kingdom up towards the top half of the right side. Still very far behind from where it actually finished. <laughs> Go ahead, the next one to vote. Uh, some points towards the top there. We got an 8 for Portugal, making some moves. 10 for Belgium. Belgium's definitely come into it now, uh, after being at the very bottom for a long time. And Ireland gets the 12. Up into the lead it goes. So Ireland, Morocco, Norway, still the top 3, with Germany and Netherlands right behind. Liz from Turkey. Some points all over here. Belgium still making big moves now. Ger Belgium is definitely getting into it. Uh, only one point behind Germany, which is interesting. And the 12 to Spain. Spain moves up into the left side there. Okay. Next up, Alumo from the Seychelles. I think this is very... Uh, 
It's always the Seychelles, right? The flag. First few points going in there. Greece is very low down. I did not expect that. Um, but yeah, 8 points to Norway there. 10 points for Germany. And 12 to Ireland. So Ireland back up in the lead. There it goes. Uh, 9 points in it now between Ireland and Morocco. Can't say Morocco was really the one that I expected to be... Uh, to be the challenger, I really thought Germany was gonna be uh, was gonna be the one, and maybe Netherla Netherlands. Those would have been my three predictions: Ireland, Germany, Netherlands. But no, Morocco is the one here. It's a tied for the lead now, as Toypa Cat gives twelve points to the Netherlands. Um. <laughs> oh my God! Even though this happened two decades before I breathed in this world, I'm very old, so. Uh, person when it comes to music. Sadly missed the votings, but cool to see the votings. You're welcome to join the next time. Uh, happy to hear that you enjoy it. Uh, 10 points for Papa Penguin there from Remoulade Erasmus, and a 12 for Portugal. Nice one. Closes it a little bit towards the top few songs here. Belgium's still in it up there as well, which is uh, which is absolutely uh, fun to see. Jeffrey gives France its first point, so everyone's got points now, which is lovely to see. After 15 voters, Switzerland gets a big 8 there, 10 points for Papa Penguin, and the 12 to Netherlands. Nothing for Ireland there, so it's closing in a little bit towards the top there. Uh, very interesting. Ireland, Morocco, and Netherlands currently the top 3, with Germany quite close behind. Norway's dropped off a little bit. Epsilon puts France in not last place anymore. Austria now dropped down there. Uh, we got 8 points for Belgium, 10 for Netherlands, up into the lead at the moment, and the 12 to Norway. So Ireland getting blanked twice in a row now. Uh, lost the lead in that. Netherlands first, Morocco second, and Ireland third. No name from Estonia next to vote. Some few points there, a lot of them on the left side of the scoreboard. We have 8 for Belgium. Definitely just cementing its spot there towards the top. 10 for Switzerland. And a 12 to Ireland. So back up into the lead, Ireland goes. And voter number 18 will be Hufi. Uh, should have predicted Morocco top 3 instead of Turkey, really. Yeah, where's Turkey? Turkey is on the right side, yeah. Gets big 7 points there, though. Uh, 8 points for Switzerland. Goes up to the left side. 10 points for the Netherlands. And a 12 to France. Wow. Okay, that came out of nowhere, but France gets a big 12 there, puts itself up into 17th, I think, now then. Lucy Lou from Greece, next to vote. Uh, Portugal moves back up to the left side. It's very, very close there from, like, Denmark and down. 8 for Netherlands, 10 for Turkey, and a 12 to Spain. Up into the top half it goes. Uh, Netherlands currently in the lead again. So it's shifting all the time up there. Portugask, next to vote. First three points coming in there. Everyone's in the double digits now as Austria got a four. Uh, we got eight points for Germany. We got ten for Morocco. And we got twelve to Netherlands again. Netherlands uh, pulling away a little bit at the moment. But a lot can still change, of course. We got Shadow Griff next to vote. Voter number 21. So we're not even halfway through yet, so a lot can change. First few points going in there. 8 points for Switzerland, 10 for the United Kingdom, which is very far down compared to their actual result, of course. And a 12 for Ireland, so Ireland puts itself back in the mix there with the Netherlands. Morocco getting a bit of a distance up towards the top two now, along with Germany. And then Norway is a bit further behind there. Hungarian Jury, all right. First few points going in here, uh, 8 points for Germany, 10 points for the Netherlands, and 12 to Ireland. Very close in it now, to the top two here. Um, Ricardo LG next to vote, first few points going in there, a lot of them on the left side. Um, We've got 8 points for Sweden, definitely needed those down there. 10 points for Netherlands, kind of putting some distance again down to Ireland. And 12 for Portugal, making big moves there, up into 6th it goes, closing in a little bit on Norway as well. And then Jacob, next one. First few points going in there. 
Finland up on the on the left side again, uh, only to get taken down by Denmark again. Ten points from Norway, and a twelve to uh, Belgium. Okay, nothing for Netherlands there. Belgium getting the big twelve. Um, Cheburashka is the next one. Uh, some points for the bottom few songs there, as well as some on the top half. Germany getting some big points there. Norway with 8. 10 for Turkey, which is definitely closing in now. And 12 to Belgium, breaking the 100-point mark. Nothing for the top two there as well. And Germany closes in because of it. And Belgium definitely closing in as well. VFD next to vote. First few points going in there. 5 for Portugal, puts it ahead of Belgium. 8 for Denmark there. Uh, 10 for Greece, big points there. And 12 to Ireland, so back up into the lead it goes. There's definitely a battle between the top three here. Uh, Ireland, Netherlands and Germany, kind of the three that I expected to be up there, so things have become a bit more predictable now, I guess. Uh, at least for, for me, but um, a lot can still change, of course. 8 points for Portugal there. 10 for Morocco. And a 12 from Renato goes to Germany. So Netherlands drops down into third now. Uh, her... I've never understood how to pronounce this. Cranksy? Or Cranksy? I, I, I don't know, but yeah, first three points going in here. Austria still very much cemented in last place, regardless of the points it received here. 10 points for Netherlands, puts it back up into second, and the 12 to Morocco, closing in on the top battle here. Uh, only 18 points separating the top four, and we're only on voter number 29, of course. Coriander, first few points going in there. Then we got 8 for Germany. We have 10 for Netherlands, and a 12 to Belgium. Okay, Belgium up into 6th again there, um, <clears throat> and then Elendil is the next to vote. And these are the first few votes coming in there. Spain making some moves, it's very tight there for whatever that is, like 12th place. Uh, 10 for Portugal, big points there, and 12 to... Belgium. Belgium and Portugal definitely having a little bit of a battle uh, down there for fifth. Um, I think UK is getting robbed. It was so good. I'm surprised UK is so far down. Uh, I really am. I think it's really charming. But it is what it is. Eight points for the Netherlands here from Akies Baeza. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ten points from Ireland and a 12 to France. So France up into 17th down there. And voter number 32 is Fermobi. And these are the first few points there. Uh, 8 points for Ireland. The 10 to Netherlands. They're still going at it, those two. And the 12 to Spain. Alright. Spain moving up. Tied with Denmark. Bluebell. Next to vote. First few points going in there, a lot of them on the right side. An 8 for Spain, 10 for Portugal, and a 12 for Belgium. Up into 5th it goes again. Belgium and Portugal definitely still, you know, going at it here. Uh, Steve. Also just realized there was only one point in it between the between the top two. 8 points for Ireland there, puts itself back in the lead, but Netherlands gets the 10, so it's switching again. And the 12 to Germany, which closes the gap a little bit. So we got we got three songs definitely going at it. Morocco, Belgium, Portugal absolutely still in it. Norway as well, I'd say. Uh, first few points from Tommy here, coming in. Some movements there in the middle. Denmark going to the left side, Luxembourg closing in. Uh, we get 10 for Netherlands there. And 12 to Ireland. Again, one point in it again. And Portugal and Belgium are tied there for fifth as well. Belgium can still win, absolutely. It's uh, 65 points behind, but uh, we're, we're not even halfway through the voting. And Red from Scotland is the next one to vote. 
gives 8 points to Belgium, so it's closing in a little bit. Ireland gets the 10 though, and the 12 to Turkey, which is not really moving a lot down there, but it's just it's just yeah, casually chilling in 8th, uh, as you can do. Swag from uh, Andorra is the next to vote. Let's see these swaggy votes. We got Spain moving up above Switzerland there. 8 points for Norway. 10 for Belgium. And 12 to Finland. Big ones for Finland there. Uh, next one, Yvkon from the Netherlands. First three points going in there. A lot of them on the left side. Netherlands back up in the lead. <laughs> Is it if like it's gonna be the, like this throughout the entire thing? It's gonna be so exciting. Ten points for Ireland there again, and a twelve to Switzerland, uh, which comes up there again. Um, Ayumi Sanyuki says, "Why low appreciation to Austria?" Like I like Austria too, but I just think there are so many good songs in this year. Maybe it's difficult to like only narrow it down to ten. That was the case for me at least. I had an issue really like narrowing it down to to only voting for ten personally. Uh, 10 points for Ireland there from Polina and the 12 to Netherlands. So they're still, you know, so close to each other. So close to each other. Uh, Mimikat. Oh, wait, we're actually halfway through. We're going to stop there quickly. Uh, Austria currently in 19th place on 26, only three points behind Italy. 10 points ahead of that, France in 17th. And then 16 points up, 55 points for Sweden right now in 16th. Only seven points behind UK, who is all the way down in 15th. 15 points uh, behind Finland in 14th on 77. Then we got a very close battle like Greece, Denmark, Luxembourg here fighting for 11th. Uh, 91, 93, 97 points respectively. Uh, 10th for Spain, 101 points, not that far ahead. And then Switzerland in 9th on 113. Then we got a bit of a gap. Turkey definitely kind of on their own in 8th on 131. Then Norway in 7th, 146, only 9 points behind uh, Portugal, who has now fallen a bit behind Belgium in the battle for 5th. Uh, but instead, Belgium has kind of closed in on 4th that Morocco has, only 10 points behind there. And then we got a pretty big gap up to the top 3. Germany kind of isolated in 3rd in at the moment on 216. Uh, Ireland and the Netherlands definitely going at it. 3 points in it. Let's see which way this is going to end. Mimikat, the first three points coming in here, Greece making some moves, Sweden making some moves ahead of the UK. 10 points for Ireland, and a 12 to Turkey. Uh, Brad asked, wasn't Israel participating too back then? They were, but in 1980 they didn't, because uh, the contest coincided with a national holiday. Um, I mean, they obviously won in 1979, but they didn't want to host it again in 1980, because they won twice in a row. And then they didn't participate because there was a, was a holiday of some sort. No Clever Name gets 12 points for the Netherlands. So three points in it, again, <laughs> at the top. I also noticed Austria has moved on, moved off last place uh, now. Philippa, voter number 42. Luxembourg up to the left side here. Like, get some big points and you're, you're switching sides. It's that close there. 10 points for Germany. And the 12 to Norway. Uh, if Netherlands would have got that one, it would have gone up back in the lead. But Norway got it instead. Norway is actually being caught by, by Turkey. And actually was paused there for a little while as well. Luck my Next to vote. Big points for UK. Turkey up into 7th it goes there. Uh, 8 for Ireland. <clears throat> 10 for Greece. Greece now up on the left side. And the 12 to Germany. So 20 points separating the top three now. Netherlands got nothing there. Next up is... <laughs> Do we wonder where this 12 is going to land? From uh, San Marino. Uh, Sweden getting seven there. So back ahead of UK it goes. Finland with big eight points there as well. Uh, 10 for Spain. And the 12 to... Yeah, got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, Eurolaul. Still got all, over 30 voters to go. Italy getting some points there, so now it's up into second to last. Um, 8 points for Turkey. 10 points to Greece. And the 12 to 
the Netherlands. So yeah, Netherlands catching up to Ireland again there. And next up is Eclectic Learner. Lovely name. Um, some points for Austria. So we, we're definitely having a little bit of a battle between Austria and Italy going there for, for 18th, basically. Um, I just noticed Belgium has now broken into the 200 mark, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Morocco gets the 12 there. Uh, Morocco has definitely fallen a bit behind the top three, but it's still, you know, in a respectable fourth up here. Les Stu from Canada is the next one to vote. So first few points going in here and a lot of them on the left side. Um, we got eight for Spain, which closes up towards the top half again. Uh, Greece gets a big 10 there, though. Moves it up into ninth ahead of Switzerland. And the 12 for Belgium. So Belgium's definitely catching on to Morocco again. Only nine points separating them now. When Vallespir is the next to vote. And here are the first few points. A lot of them on the left side again. Netherlands up into the lead, but Ireland takes it back with an 8. Um, 10 for Luxembourg. Puts it up in 11th there. And then the 12 for Germany. Germany got 26 points to catch up to Ireland on here. E from Ecuador. Next to vote. First few points going in there. Finland broke into the 100s now. Denmark has fallen quite far down, if I'm completely honest. They were up in the top half for a long time. Uh, Spain with 10 points there. And the 12 goes to Portugal. So now up into the 200s as well. Uh, still in 6th, though. Just another penguin. Are we getting a 12 for Luxembourg here? Let's see. Uh, first few points going in there. Some for the songs towards the bottom. Um, we've got 8 for Switzerland, 10 for Morocco, and the 12. Oh! I guess you did not approve of the penguin content we got from, uh, from Luxembourg. Well, 12 for Germany though, I think it was, right? Uh, Rose, next to vote. Uh, Italy, very glued to the bottom, but getting some points there. 8 points for Switzerland, up into 9th it goes again. 10 for UK. And the 12 to Ireland, which puts some distance towards second place now. Germany's absolutely caught the Netherlands as well. Oh, look who it is. It's time for my votes. Here the first few points are. Um, yeah, as you can see on the screen right now. The 8 to Portugal. The 10 to Germany. And the 12 to the song that almost makes me cry, which is Ireland. <laughs> Um, so next one, who is next up? Andy is the next one. Let's see where the first few points come in here. Finland and Denmark getting a few lower points there. Uh, Belgium back up into fifth it goes. Uh, Netherlands with a big eight, ten for Ireland though, and the twelve to Turkey. All right, so Turkey uh, kind of distancing itself. It's now up in seventh, quite far ahead of, or well, not far ahead, but a little bit ahead of, of Norway. Jay Sora, next one to vote. Some points all over the place here. Luxembourg moves up into 11th. Eight points for Ireland. 10 for Morocco. And the 12 to Germany. So Germany is now up into second. Interesting. Netherlands gets blanked by a lot of people, um, apparently. Mart is the next one. Here are the first few points. No movements as of yet. Um, we get eight points for Netherlands, though, so back up to second. Ten for Norway, which doesn't do much difference, but it closes in on Turkey. And Ireland gets another 12. Ireland's pulling away now. 37 points uh, ahead of the Netherlands in second. But it's not over yet. Still have 23 voters to go, so Malta is the first of those. And um, yeah, the first three points are shown on screen. No movements yet. Eight big points for Ireland. Ten for Germany. Up in second it goes. And 12 to the Netherlands, so takes back second place there. Next up, who can that be? It is um, I was eight revenge. <laughs> And here are the first few points there. Uh, one movement, Austria climbs above France. Uh, why? I do not know. They're on the same points anyway. 10 points for Spain, though. Puts it up into 11th. And the 12 to Luxembourg takes back 11th, basically. 
We also got a tie right now for ninth between Greece and Switzerland, so that's something. One point in it between Turkey and Norway, I see as well. Uh, LG next to vote. Norway goes up into seventh there. Switzerland up into ninth. Eight points for Finland. Ten points for France, so back up into 17th that one goes. And the 12 to Sweden doesn't do much difference. Oh, actually, closes in a little bit on 15th, which the UK has at the moment. Edmundo's Festa. I gotta get reminded of the fact that he's not in Eurovision every stream, really, huh? Uh, first few points coming in here. We got 8 for Switzerland. We got 10 for the Netherlands. So closing in a little bit here, and the 12 to Morocco, definitely cementing itself in fourth. Uh, it's putting distance downwards, uh, quite a margin, honestly. Romance Linguist is the next to vote. Some small points for the bottom two at the moment. Turkey gets seven, which puts it up into seventh. Uh, Portugal closing in on Belgium, only one point in it. Germany with 10, and the 12, Morocco again. Morocco is, uh, you know, it's up there. It's not going anywhere, for sure. 40 points down to 5th now. Sintra Lover is the next to vote, and Portugal moves up into 5th, I see. Um, 8 points for Germany there. 10 for Belgium, back up into 5th. And the 12 to Netherlands this time. 16 points separating the top 2. It's not over. It's definitely not over. And next up is Jose. And these points go, a lot of them on the on the right side, actually. Um, but uh, Greece actually has a bit of a distance to the, to the right side now that I look. Uh, Germany gets the 10 there, very close to the top 3 if Ireland gets nothing, but Ireland gets the 12, so it's pulling away a little bit again. But uh, there is absolutely a battle for, for the win here. Uh, apparently my grandmother is also um, voting. And a lot of the points go towards the bottom few songs there. Grandma likes Teata as well, and Morocco. I don't think my actual grandmother would have actually liked Morocco though, but uh, maybe Norway though. <laughs> Norway gets the 12 there. Brad asks how many people are left. Um, we're on voters 64, we have 78 in total, so 15. Vyacheslav is the first one of those. France up into 17th there. Luxembourg gets 8, closing in on Greece. 10 for Switzerland, pulls away a little bit there. And the 12 to Portugal, up into 5th it goes. Uh, Andy, Groot, what do you think Jose Mourinho would vote for? Probably like Belgium. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know what he listens to. Jux uh, from Italy, next up to vote. 10 points from the Netherlands there. And the 12 to Ireland. So Ireland pulling away. 32 points in the lead now. 1980 USSR jury. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, here are the first few points going in there. Nothing for the top, top song so far. Belgium gets 8. 10 for Morocco. And the 12 to Finland. Uh, are these the actual results just inverted? I kind of feel like they, they looked like it. Um, always interesting. Yere. First few points going in there. Ireland still getting a few more points there. Pulling away a little bit. Sweden gets 8. Only 1 point shy of the 100 now. 10 points for Netherlands and the 12 for Germany. So now 31 points separating the entire top 3. Which is quite close. Jaden from England, next up to vote. And here are the first few points. Sweden now into the 100s, only three songs left to re yet to reach that. Uh, not sure if they will though. Um, eight points for Greece, ten for Turkey, and the 12 goes to Austria. Not a lot of points for the top songs there from Jaden. Uh, Zuna from Finland is the next to vote. And here are the first few points going in there. Uh, Isabel, that evening I went to bed in tears because Papa Penguin didn't win. It was a child's song. Well, I guess you gotta go to bed crying this time as well because it doesn't look like it's gonna win. Uh, 12 points to Ireland here. I think Ireland maybe got it. We have nine voters left to go, but Ireland has a distance now. 
a lot has to change for it not to win at this point. Uh, first few points coming in here from Beba though, and Ireland's not one of the songs getting points yet. Norway with 8, 10 for Spain, and the 12 to Ireland. Okay, 40 points in the lead now, 8 voters to go. Tigressa from Mexico, first one of those. And there are the first few points. Some points for the bottom few songs there. Maybe one of them can at least break into 100. Austria is pretty close. Uh, Turkey gets 8. 10 for Ireland. And the 12 to... Netherlands. So Netherlands still in with a shot. I think Germany might... They're, they're not mathematically out of it. But I, it's going to take a miracle, really. Uh, Canary Simrup. Next up to vote. Uh, first few points going in there. Makes no difference Anywhere it looks like. 8 points for Luxembourg. Only 1 point behind Greece now for the top half. 10 points for Ireland. Big ones there. Amsterdam gets the 12 though, so Netherlands still in it. I think Germany, we can kind of count them out now. But Netherlands still has a shot, I believe. Uh, 6 voters left to go. Cosmic Summer is the first one of those. And here are the first few points. UK goes ahead of Sweden again. We've got 8 for Ireland. Is that it? 39 points separating them. It's not It's not done yet, but almost. The 12 here to Portugal. Not making any difference there, but 6th, very close to uh, Belgium. Uh, okay, Dartsen next to vote. Sweden back up against, uh, back up ahead of UK again. Portugal moves up into 5th again. Ireland gets the 10, that might be it, you know. Yeah, the Netherlands didn't get the 12. Germany got it. Gap of 49 points. That has to be it, doesn't it? Yeah, four four voters left. 48 points is the max obtainable. George gives seven to Ireland. It's done. It's done. Where are we looking for the excitement? Probably like for fifth place. We still have a battle. Uh, UK up into 15th. It goes again. UK and Sweden are also having a battle, you know. Germany absolutely in it for second place now. We're going to have a late swap for second. Kane, 78. Next to vote. Germany, 7-7. Seven, seven big points. Only one point behind Netherlands now. 8 points for Morocco there. 10 for Ireland. And the 12... To Switzerland. Meaning that there's one point in it between the, the second and third. Uh, Nils, let's see where your votes land. Four points for Germany, so back up ahead it goes. Sweden moves up ahead of UK again. Norway with eight there, up into seventh. Ten points for Netherlands. It's still it's still active, you know, and 12 points for Ireland. Ireland's already won, of course, but we got a battle for second. We got a battle for fifth, for sure. Belgium back up in fifth now. Dejan Kulisevsky, final voter. And uh, I think Sweden... Making big moves. Austria broke into the 100s as well. Lovely. Germany back up into second. 10 points for Ireland. Is Netherlands going to take the 12? No, Belgium takes the 12 and Belgium gets fifth. And these are the final results of our voting. Um, so yeah, Ireland or no. Yeah, Ireland won. Italy finished in last place. 72 points. Still, still a fair amount, but in 19th they finished. Behind France, uh, so yeah, we got the big five countries uh, really stacked up at the bottom, excluding Germany. How how the times have changed. The only big five country of the modern era, of course, to be not towards the bottom is apparently Germany. <laughs> uh, regardless, Italy in last 72 points, France in 18th on 88. And then every other country got 100. Austria in 17th on 103. UK down in 16th on 126, 5 points behind Finland, 131, and Sweden ended up in 14th on 136. Then 149 points for Denmark, which finished in 13th. Of course, Denmark was around here earlier on in the voting, but then just plummeted, really. Uh, big gap up into 12th, where Spain finished, 184, and uh, 193 for Papa Penguin from Luxembourg in 11th. Uh, the entire top 10 got 200 plus points. Greece, the first one of those, in 10th with Autostop, 200 on the dot. 
Switzerland in 9th, 243 points. Petrol from Turkey finished in 8th, 268. Turkey and Norway had a big battle going for a very long time, and Norway finished in 7th in the end, 271 points. Then we need to move up into the 300s to get into the top 6. Portugal landing spot on with 300. 14 points behind Belgium, which uh, definitely did a lot better than they did in real life. 314 points in 5th place. Uh, same thing applies for Morocco, which uh, I think finished in 17th in real life. Here, 4th place, 341 points. Still, though, 100 points behind the Netherlands on 442. Only one point behind Germany on 443. Uh, and yeah, the top two is basically identical to in real life. Ireland kind of landslided this a little bit. 520 points, uh, one ahead of Germany in second. So yeah, these are the final results. Are we happy or not with these results? Uh, I was about to ask, like, do you prefer these over the actual ones? But uh, I mean, the main differences are really like that Morocco and Belgium... Uh, landed towards the top and that UK did really really bad <laughs> basically um, Vitor says it's not fair to UK where did the UK stand in 1980 they finished uh, third in in 1980 um, if we compare it to the actual results I don't have them in my head but I know like um, Ireland won Germany was second UK was third Switzerland was fourth and um, uh, Netherlands was was fifth and then I'm not sure what was after that in 6th. I can't really remember. Uh, I'm just looking at the songs here. I don't remember what was 6th. So I'm not, I'm not going to make a statement there. But yeah, I remember that top 5. So yeah, final results here. Um, let's see if I, um, I zoom out a little bit. We can see the entire voting grid here. Um, many songs got 12s. Like Italy got a 12 here. France got some 12s. Austria got a 12, UK got 12. Did every song get a 12? I see like Denmark probably didn't get one. No, Denmark didn't get any 12s. And maybe Greece. Yeah, Greece didn't get any 12s either. Denmark and Greece being the two countries to not get 12s here, basically. Uh, Red says Italy was 6th. Oh, yeah. Or, and Piri said that too. I did not know that, but yeah, apparently. So, uh, yeah. That's a big difference as well, of course, than in, in our voting. But yeah, um, thank you all for joining me for the first watch-along. I'm actually going to make this a bit uh, more, uh, what's it called? Uh, more personal, I guess. Uh, we're going to gonna block that one out. I'm going to make myself uh, big-headed again. <laughs> uh, just for the kind of closure to the stream here, uh, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for joining me for the watch-along. It's been tons of fun, I think. I hope you've enjoyed it too. I hope you enjoyed being part of the voting as well. Uh, and to everyone who hadn't seen this year before, I hope you really enjoyed watching uh, some older Eurovision. It's very different from what it is now, of course. It's a massive difference. Uh, but it's still, you know, it's, this, it's the same concept. It's the same competition. It's just that both music and, and production sides have, have evolved into whether you think that's better or worse, that's subjective. Uh, but I had a lot of fun watching this as well. I, I, anyway, um, Brad asks, when, what's the next live stream? The next live stream will be, or well, I don't know if I will do like a different type of live stream, but for a watch along, it will be 1981. Uh, basically, we're gonna watch 1981 and we're gonna vote in that one as well. When that will happen, I can't make any promises. But I think today, I did I announce it today? that it, No, I announced it yesterday that it was going to be t tonight. Um, I can't make any promises when the next one will be. Maybe, if I'm just speculating, maybe Thursday. We can just have that like a bit in the air. Like it might happen on Thursday, but I'm not making any promises. And then it will be 1981. Um, so yeah. Hope hope you will join me regardless of regardless of when it happens. Hope that you will join me for um, for that one as well. Um, if you're interested in watching 1981, of course. But yeah, thank you all for for um, for watching with me, and I hope you really enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be leaving you with um, with more 1980 <laughs> music uh, as as the suggestion. Uh, A forest by the cure here, and. Uh, yeah, hope to see you uh, soon again. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye. Uh,